Hey there, YouTubers. This is your zip code, Fafafafarik. Matt Shiny in the 92887 on this Thursday, August 15th. And wouldn't you know it, we're going to be doing state number 15 today, Kentucky. Um, this is installment 16, the election collection on the Zip Code Freak channel. And for you Zip Code Freaks, Kentucky zip codes are those that start with 400 and going through those that start with 427. So 400XX through 427XX. Kentucky, <clears throat> as we've been going through our journey through the states and their uh, election histories, Kentucky is the first state with its modern borders going to the Mississippi. Uh, so westward expansion starts even uh, with this state. Uh, it became a state, ratified the Constitution on June 1st, 1792, about a year give or take, after Vermont did, has eight electors and has a modern population of four, four and a half million, 26, so right in the middle of 50. Density is 114 people per square mile, so not that densely populated, not even in the cities, maybe a little bit here and there. Uh, it's 37th in land area, not quite 40,000 square miles in area, and has 120 counties. Uh, it is a def uh, decidedly a red state, uh, given the results from the last two elections, although in its history, <clears throat> and really in its history too, at the last 16 elections, 4 to 16 were for the Democrats, the, uh, the other 12 were for the Republicans. Kentucky gave us one of the greatest, the greatest Republican probably of all time for president, and that was Lincoln. While Illinois is known as the land of Lincoln, <clears throat> excuse me, something in my throat, uh, Lincoln was actually born in Hardin County, Kentucky, and uh, so really we give Kentucky the credit. Uh, Illinois was where he had his political career. But yes, uh, out of 120 counties, 118 of those went for Trump. It's far redder than uh, North or South Carolina, Carolina are, the other two states here that went for uh, Trump in 2020. Uh, and the ratio of Republican and Democrat in this state 17 to 10. So it's uh, decent, decent. So almost 9 to 5. Uh, it was even uh, even more in 2016, but it got a little closer for the Democrats, but still not enough to really propel them to victory. So this is definitely a red state. Not as emphatically red as the, uh, the bluest states are blue, though. We haven't run into one of those quite yet. And if, just for fun here, uh, in case you're wondering where this place is, if you're not a uh, U.S. citizen or if you have no idea, because I have no idea who watches my channel, Kentucky looks like a fried chicken leg toward the right and kind of in the middle. Uh, it looks like a fried chicken leg, and KFC has made hay with that in their advertising slogans. It's bordered on the east by Virginia, on the northeast by West Virginia, on the north by Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois, on the west by Missouri, and on the south by Tennessee. So, there's Kentucky for you in a, in a fried leg nutshell. If you like, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.